Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. I'm Gwen, and you are here, I believe, to live an awesome life. That's what this podcast is all about, and also teaching others to do the same. So I got a podcast for you. I got a topic to talk about, calling this Tired But Inspired. I woke up today, and my first thought was, I should go back to bed. <laughs> I'm officially three days away from my due date for my first child, okay? Wow. And um, yeah, this could be the last podcast I record as a non, with a, with a baby within, not a baby out in the world. So I guess I should just really enjoy it. It's also really funny because I feel rather exhausted but at the same time, I know I've probably barely scratched the surface of the tiredness that will come. So I just want to share with you kind of an interesting story. Um, I j- recently completed my Lead the Course program, a four-week training program to help uh, in-demand professionals create and sell the first version of their signature online course. It was awesome. We did it. And then I thought, oh, this will be fantastic. I'll have two weeks of just like wind down, prepare for baby mode. That's not what happened. I, sometimes life just hands you interesting opportunities. So I had every intention of putting on that email autoresponder and saying, not today, but I received an email from somebody, uh, to somebody that I have a lot of respect for, an amazing company, and he needed some support with curriculum design for two really amazing people, uh, kind of world-renowned experts, and what's, which is great. And, um, but the reason why it really kind of pulled on my heartstrings is in 2020, I actually talked to these two experts a couple of different times as they were thinking about creating their course three years ago. And just suddenly they needed support like right now to create their course. And I just thought this timing is, hilarious. this timing is something. Um, the thing with me is that I work really fast and really effectively humble brag. And so I can create a course curriculum essentially in a day, but we really believe that we could get it created within a week. Um, and so anyway, I just perhaps got off my last work call uh, for a while, actually, with this team. Um, and so the curriculum is now kind of out of my hands. It's going to be reviewed by these experts. And I just wanted to say like how sometimes in life, opportunities come up and you just got to go with the flow. Make that decision, line up with the decision, say yes, and go all in. Over the last week, I have felt many times like, girl, why did you do this to yourself? Why couldn't you just rest? Why must we be like this? But at the same time, it's been really amazing to get to work with people of this caliber because it's really had to like get me up, you know, like I could have probably been just just sitting there doing nothing, which sounds actually great. But at the same time, it really is something to have to like pull yourself together to work with world-class people. And they're also just super nice and super caring. And the experts are parents themselves and (laughs) give me some well wishes. So anyway, just a really fascinating thing. And um, I'm both appreciative. I said, yes. And also like Gwen, you're just falling back into your pattern. She can't rest, can you? So I, I did put up my email autoresponder for a few days from now. And I'm very curious if I'm going to honor the, the space that I think would be smart to have of at least like a summer off to be all in on baby mode. Or will I be that person that's like, I think I'm going to work a little bit. I don't know. And if you have any tips, anyone out there who's a millennial or woman of the, who has put time into the career, but then 
had a baby, like I'm open to advice. Give me your advice. It's not unsolicited. I'm asking for it. And so <laughs> that's where I'm at. Anyway, and I also wanted to share, I pulled one of those inspirational cards that I want to end with just to, just as a, what's the message that I need most today? What's the message that you, the listener, or if you're watching this on YouTube, need the most today? And the card I pulled said, I can transform my own world. Okay, sounds good. And then on the back, it says, make lists of positive aspects. Make lists of things you love and never complain about anything. <laughs> and as you use those things that shine bright and make you feel good as your excuse to give your attention and the, ugh, I can't read. Basically, if you focus your attention on that good, that list of things that are good, your whole world will begin to transform before your eyes. It is not your job to transform the world for others but it is your job to transform it for you. A state of appreciation is pure connection to source where there is no perception of lack. That's good though. You know what I'm saying? It's like, kind of reminds me of the saying that when you wake up at the morning, in the morning and you have to go and you're going to work or you have obligations, shifting the mindset from, I have to do this to I get to do this. That has been really, really helpful for me, especially during this time of kind of grappling between should I be resting? Should I be working? It's like just believing that you are you get the opportunity to talk to certain people, that people care and want to work with you. So that's good. Lean into the appreciation. So anyways, y'all, I believe I'm going to attempt to continue to try and do weekly podcasts. <laughs> we will see how this goes. But if not, if you're not following me already on Instagram or join me on my email list, which I'm also going to attempt to work on just kind of as a creative outlet, weekly or bi-weekly, join me and uh, I'll wrap up the podcast for today. But just remember, if you're tired, it's okay. Make it through, rest up, get back into that inspired state. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope you have an absolutely glorious rest of your day.